going straight. You're not eating? No. John, we have to go back and get that pact. It's proof of treason. We show that to the king and the sheriff's history. Oh, Robin, we've no idea where it's hidden. Tell the truth, we'll only take a tenth. Lie! And we'll take it all. It's the truth! Then why not show us? I need every penny for the woman I love. You're going to buy a woman? To marry her! Her father borrowed money from Canon Berkeley. Yeah, we know Berkeley. Yeah, wherever Berkeley goes, the sheriff's not far behind. Her father signed a bond of debt. And now we can't pay? Not easily, no. He's dead. Oh, please. We're not going to believe this. <laughs> the bond is locked away in the castle. And Beatrice remains in service to the canon until her father's debts are paid. That's why I need every shilling. How much is the debt? Two thousand pounds. <laughs> Ten shillings won't get you very far. I pay what I can. I'll keep paying until Beatrice is free. This gets better and better. If your story is true, my friend. It is true. Of course it isn't true. If your story is true, if you really do have only ten shillings, then we will pay off your debt. What? Wait, hey, whoa, what one to it is true? It isn't! You see, I told you, ten shillings. It's all our money! So, we're robbing from the rich to give to the... Rich? Right. It's to help him marry his sweetheart, Will. Think of it as a wedding present. What? Can't we just give him a toasting fork like everyone else? Well, he broke! Go and fill the bottom of a chest with sand. We follow that money, we find the pact. Look, trust me, I have a plan. Robin's favourite, this one. Leads from outside straight into the castle. You know, a simple iron grill in there would fix that. Hmm. Bars on there. Upgrade this young man to leather. He's a hero. <laughs> that idea is almost as good as entering the strong room. What? 
What? Not doing anything. You're giving away all Robin's secrets. You advise the sheriff about the strong room. Look, I'm fighting for my life there, Yes, Mary. you are. Stop now, or I swear I will kill you. Something wrong? No. No? Just a meeting the locals. In. John of York, my dear son. How wonderful to see you. How much you pay me this week? The lot. My porters have the money to pay the bond. I'm here to claim my bride. Oh, oh, good. Well, the, the sheriff will be uh, delighted. Have your men give it to the guards. Um, you wait through there, and I'll give the sheriff the good news. You know what you're doing, Robin. Trust me, John. My lord, what? We have a problem. Please. I'm not being funny, but it doesn't look like a problem. Uh, it's the repayment of a loan. So what's the problem? It's the bond on the girl, Beatrice. York is waiting outside. York? It's too late. We've agreed to sell her to Durham. Anyway, you told me he had nothing. Where did he get this money from? My lord, I couldn't say, but it's all there. The interest, everything. What do I tell him? You use your initiative. Hmm? Tell him it was an act of God. What are you doing here? I'm here to save you. I've paid off the bond and we're to be together. <laughs> Come round. Thank you. What are they doing? What's going on? You leave her alone! John! What are you doing to Beatrice? The money. It's not all there. It is there. Every penny, all the capital, all the interest. lost the early redemption charges. The early? What? It's another 500. Five hundred. I'll marry her without the bond. Do you not understand how debt works? While I have the bond, she is church property. I know where he got this from. These boxes belong to Robin. How do you know? Well, because I knew. Because I know. Why would Robin Hood give money to a knight? Well, he wouldn't, unless, uh... We thought we could get it back. Well, let's disappoint him, shall we? We're going to put it in your little birdcage. <laughs> it's time for the unveiling. My lord, this cage, is it wise? It's your man's idea. It's genius. All that money where everyone can see it. Where everyone can see if Robin Hood's going to steal it. That is the point. here today to witness the unveiling of my marvellous birdcage. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> We're trying to find the bite. Nottingham's Exchequer. Our community chest. There for all to see, demonstrating once again my commitment to open government. Hmm? And this... This latest addition to our fund, I have been reliably informed, has come from the coffers of Robin Hood himself. 
There goes our money. Archers all around. Clever. If you happen to see Robin Hood, and he asks you, have you seen my money? You can say to him, the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. It was Alan's idea. He's informed the sheriff of all the ways in and out of the castle. What a good scheme, I think. They're sealing off the exits. You have to get out now. And what if Alan tells them about you? He won't. I've silenced him. Stop! That's my money! What's that man doing? I want my bride! Is he mad? Yes. He's in love. I've settled that debt and you've got your money. You're the thieves. You and the cannon. Not Robin Hood. Out! Hang it. What? All our money. And we don't have the pact. Who are you playing at, mate? You could have got us killed. What happened? Did you tell him it was our money? No, of course not. The canon told me it wasn't enough. He says I have to pay early redemption charges. You know what? We need to have a little chat with this canon. I hear he takes confession from the tavern girls every lunchtime. They got away. Surprise. No, not. Hood always gets away, and I'm getting rather tired of it! This time, we go to him. Look, like I said to Giz, I... I can't tell you where Robin lives. Whose side are you on, all right? Oh, even if I did tell you, you might have moved on. Well, we'll find out, won't we? I want him dead. Yeah, but if he hasn't moved on, he'll set all sorts of traps up. It'd just be too dangerous. Yeah. Well, don't you worry about that, eh, dear boy? We'll send you in first. all these risks you take for him? Yes. He can't change anything. Yes, he can. He is going to get the traitor's pact and show it to the king. The sheriff's days are numbered. And does Robin know where it is, this pact? No. But he'll find it. The pair of you. Your dreamers. Dreamers? Because we are not weak like you. How dare you? You caused all this. You allowed the sheriff to walk in and take your job, and you stood there and did nothing. That is not true. And you condemned Rob... You should be helping us. I don't have time for this. Marion. I'm ashamed of you sometimes. Marion. What do 
you want. I'm here to take confession. Ah, very good. Yours. I've paid off Beatrice's bond. Where is it? Why well, don't have it? Is it in the birdcage? It's not, is it? It's too exposed up there for papers. Well, how would I know? <laughs> now, you don't understand. You see, it's not just my friend here who needs to know the sheriff keeps his documents. Well, as God is my friend, I swear I don't know where they are. And I swear to you that if you don't tell us, God won't be your friend. He'll be a next-door neighbor. Whoa, whoa, whoa! If you promise not to hurt me, I will tell you the truth. <laughs> I promise. Listen, I have no idea where the sheriff keeps his papers, but it doesn't matter. Somebody else has already repaid the bond. What? Who? The Earl of Durham. He will marry Beatrice on Saturday. The sheriff's made a deal. Beatrice would never marry another man. She loves me. Well, that's why we haven't told her. That is immoral! Grow up! Money has a way of making things moral. And Durham is paying more than you could ever dream of. After all, she's a very pretty girl. Atta! You made a promise before God not to hurt me. He did. I didn't. Thank you. Gisbo's men, get in the back! We're going to Hood's camp! Come on! Get up there! Get up! Guy, I need a favour. No. I must get to a physician. My father is getting worse. Marion, you know the rules governing your house arrest. But I would be with you and then I would come straight back. Please. It's a goal for the head of us! Get yourselves together. We've work to do. Why? What happened? The sheriff is selling Beatrice to the Earl of Durham. We have to get her out. How? Alan's blocked all our ways in. Oh. Don't worry. We'll figure something. Come on. I'm truly beholden to you all. That's what we do. You have no idea what she means to me. Let me guess. You can't sleep for thinking of her. You can't turn a corner out and she'll be there. You have those feelings. I'm just guessing. Thank you. Once again, I am in your debt. Marion, I'm not comfortable with the way the sheriff has treated your father or you. You need me to wait while you go in to the physicians? No. Don't let me keep you. Go straight back. so good up there. You will pay Robin of Loxley. Honestly, you look gorgeous from any angle. <laughs> How do I look from that angle? Listen to me, I was wrong. Alan is out of control. He's leading Gisborne and his men here now. Alan? You should stay here with us. I cannot live in the forest. Why not? <laughs> because green doesn't suit me. It's your father, isn't it? I cannot turn my back on him. And I cannot be found here. What I said before. What? You know. I said you were gorgeous. I meant it. And I meant what I said. One day you will pay Robin of Loxley.
Just guessing. Liar. We close up the camp. Let's meet Gisborne and Alan on the low road. Give Alan the welcome he deserves. This is war. Sheriff said, you take the lead. Well, we're not there yet. All right. Guards, wait there. back. Hood! I thought you said we weren't near. We're not! You knew we were coming. Someone warned us. He'll squeeze Alan to find out who it was. Alan would not betray Marian. Yes, he would. Alan is not betraying anyone. We're going to see to that. Open up. Injured men here. Gisborne said you were all dead. Do we look dead? Open up. Go to the tower, find the girl, get her out. And you? I'm gonna find Alan. Robin. Don't. Jack. I know you liked him. But he has to be stopped. For all our sins. Good luck. Ready? to get the wrong idea. I had no choice. I would never take him to the camp. I wouldn't. I love you, Robin, all of you. That's very touching. But as they say, I'll first. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Let's talk. And you can start by telling me where the sheriff keeps his documents! I don't know. Look, I just told him to empty his strong room, that's it. You must know where he's moved the pact. I swear I don't. Maybe his room, there's a safe in there. Trust me, Robin. Trust you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> told you I'd never betray you. You already have. And next to betray Mary. <laughs> 
not a Judas. And I'm no Jesus. Marion? What happened to you? It's a, an incident in the woods. It was nothing. That was Sir Edward. I was just on my way to see him, actually. I'll tell him you asked after him. That's kind. Marion. There is another side to me. Guy. My father. I should like to visit him alone. Of course. Now. Please. I don't want to die. Well, that's the only way you're going to escape me. Robin, spare him! I can't. Please, do it for me. Marion, I'm doing this for you. To protect you. Robin! Robin, please. If you love me, you will let him go. I do love you. And that's why I can't let him live. Because one day he'll do something to take you away from me. I wouldn't. Please. Don't taint us with his blood. You owe me your life. Don't you ever betray me. I won't. Took you a long time to tell me that. Tell you what? You know. I must have been half concussed. Well, you'll be fully concussed if you don't watch out. I think I know where the pact is. Yes? We're here to escort the prisoner to the Earl of Durham. Come along, my dear. Your future husband's waiting. Father? Father, I've brought you some food. I'm sorry about what I said.
knew it would be here. You escaped the dungeons. I heard England needed saving. I have the pact. Come on, come on. This way. What is the castle? See you all exit. Much. Well met, my friends. A new member of the gang. Sir. Mr. Yes. Well, Callis is open. So what do we do? Keep going. Oh, one goes in or out of the castle. Halt! Lads? Let us through. Nobody leaves. We're going into lockdown. We're escorting the prisoner to the Earl of Durham. Thank you. Stop him! Stop him! That's hurt! Nice try. Sorry the rain on your parade, hurt! That's all right. Every cloud. That's a silver lining. He's getting away! <laughs> Is everyone all right? Where do you think you're I'm going, going. <laughs> Berkeley? That girl stays here. She belongs to the Earl of Durham. No, she belongs with me. Hand her over or say goodbye to your friend. Don't listen to him. Robin, go! <laughs> Mistake, old man. I won't kill you. Leave it, Berkeley. <laughs> you're a man of God. You cannot kill. And you, Hood, are a man of war who cannot kill! Try me. Edward! No! Get him down! Get him. Jack! Oh. Okay. Don't remove the knife. I prepared my instrument. John! Get John and Beatrice to safety. Now! This way. Go! Robin, leave me. I will not, sir. I will slow you down. Go, go. I've never quite understood my daughter's feelings for you. Well, I probably don't deserve them. No. I think maybe you do. You better take this. Packed. 
you will not give up your life for mine. For England. Robin, listen to me. For Marion to lose both of us would kill her. Edward, Edward, that is not going to happen. Give her a message from me. Tell her. Tell her. It's good to dream. I will. No, what is this? Ryan, the sheriff thinks that he was helping Hood. No! See him in a no, no! No! Jailer was killed with it. I don't care. The sheriff will care. And when he finds out that it was your dagger that killed his jailer, he will hang you. <laughs> Let me look after you. Protect you. I've always cared about you, Marion. Forgive me. That was inappropriate. But in time. Come with me, 
way to the forest. I was waiting. As the rightful Lord of Loxley in the county of Nottingham, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Thank you. Toasting fork. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck! You did disarm the trap, didn't you, Will? You know what you're going to do? Retrieve the Great Pact of Nottingham and kill Robin Hood. <laughs> Gisborne wants me to find you. Why would you help me? Look, I'm not all bad. I don't need to be mollycoddled. Good. Because you're not going to get it here. She's not coming back, Guy. Move on. What's happening here? Robin Hood. He's dead. For more adventures with Robin Hood next Saturday at 7.15 here on BBC HD. And in 10 minutes after Katie Tunstall hits the legendary Tony Bennett in session.